In today's video I will be playing Paris California and showing you guys how to play this game. You will spawn in either two spawns but the one I am in right now is the most common. To get a car go over to the person and click on him. There are 6 cars to start off with and you can get more by buying premium on the Mountain Interactive website. When you start off in this game you will have phone, ID which is used for RP, a flashlight, a jukebox, and a taco which doesn't do much. Time for basic controls. The movement is like every other game. You can use Q and R to tilt your character to peak walls and such and the colon key to surrender. Click on the purple box to get more animations such as right hand up and a different surrender. To use your vehicle, enter it and press E to start your engines. After that press Q to put on your seatbelt and L for the two stages of lights, dim and full beam. To get out of neutral press the shift key and then hold W to move. To use your turn signals press C to signal left and C to signal right. If you want hazard lights press X. To park press P and to lock your car hit the lock UI button. For the UI there is a organization portal for gold members only. The car button is used to spawn cars anywhere and is restricted to gold and above members. The blue button displays jobs that you could join. I will discuss soon how to join the jobs that the base starter player could join. The other button is the red lock. This is the peacetime button, red means it's disabled, and green means it's enabled and you can't shoot your weapon in that time frame. To go to the main part of Paris make a left turn from the spawn, drive straight until you see a right turn which you will make. After that just drive straight for a while. Once you see the intersection make a left hand turn and follow the road that goes over the highway. Then make a right hand turn and now you are on the main road of Paris where most of the action and fun takes place on. On this road there is many things such as a gas stations, the DMV, and many more buildings which I will show in a in-depth video coming soon. Now for the money part. Jobs. To get a job simply click the blue button and a list of available jobs will appear. Some of them such as the other law enforcement agencies may require a purchase. The first job I am going to show you is the gas station job which is located near the turn onto the main road. This job makes 10 to 12 per hour. To start you job go to the computer and click the check in button. You can do tasks such as restock items and help other players as the gas station employee. The next job I will show you is the waste management. To start your job go to the box on the wall and collect your orders. Go to the computer and select the garbage truck. To see where to pick up the garbage click the item that got put into your inventory. It will display a red dot, usually located in the housing area. To collect the garbage go up to your assigned garbage bin and hold E. After you get the garbage go to the back of your truck and hold E to dump it. You should get $30 to $50 per trash bin on average. The next job is Little Caesars. You can start by doing the same clock system as before. Your job is to make pizzas. To do that enter the kitchen and grab the dough then put on tomato sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Then put it in the oven and wait a few seconds. After that put it in the box and you are done. If you are hungry you can get a pizza from the front of the store for cheap. This next job is the mailman. In this job you can deliver packages and mail. This job has the same system of getting the packages and spawning cars of the waste management job. You can also get money by selling and buying drugs from characters around the map. Now for the police role slash job. There is only one free police job which is the Riverside Sheriff. There is more which can be bought. I will provide links in the description. When you spawn in you get to chose a call sign. Just chose a random one. As a sheriff you have a taser, pepper spray, a hold and an arrest tool, a search tool, a baton, and Miranda rights. To enter the building click on the handle of the door. There are many rooms such as the booking room for jailing people and other rooms. Go through the gym door and into the locker room. 
To get a gun click on the locker, select the handgun section, and chose a gun. To get belts and vest go to the last row of lockers and click on them. For bigger guns go through the back door and into logistics. Click a gun to get one. These guns are A.R.S and shotguns. There is a less lethal beanbag gun in the safe. To get your car exit the same door you came in and click the computer outside the building. Click a car to spawn it. To open the car doors click the handle. The car has the same controls as the car I showed before but some new controls. Press F to use your manal siren. Press H to honk. Press J to enter the three stages of L's. Use R, T, and G for sirens when in the third stage of L's. To exit the lights just press J until they stop. To use the radio use N and the mic will turn on. Whatever you message will appear there. Also press J for the gun flashlight and F to cycle around into the chamber. The best areas to patrol is the main street and around gun store. To get a gun you need to go to the gun store and buy it from the person but first you need a gun license. To get the license you can buy one from the sheriff station at the front desk. That's all for today if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on this game or others let me know in the comments. Bye!